Yeah, he's Francis has got so many things that could go on he's at busy, any. He's a busy bar. He's busy. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's yeah. noon. Francis would probably be hosting at the moment. Yeah, probably. You know, he he he's happy enough for that, knowing that uh, Laz and Lucy went off somewhere. Well, yeah. and they didn't even go anywhere. To be they didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> no, they didn't no, go they anywhere. Just... <laughs> well, you know, it probably evolved into there. And then, uh, so what do I get? Uh, what message do I get? Basically, you just get a message from Salazar saying, "Where are you, Francis?" Yeah, hi, Francis. Where are you? Uh probably main cafeteria level. Yeah. Yeah, I'll okay. just send that over. Uh, do you mind if I drop in, drop by? Of course not. It's open. It's open all day. You can drop in whenever. I will be there shortly. And with that, I take the package. Uh, go from the <laughs> at security. At this point, screen. at this point, Francis phones up people. Oh! <laughs> you try so. Right. <laughs> they they answer. I don't want to say it out loud, so I'm going to say it to you in in chat. Okay? I know who I know who you're trying to contact. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they I appreciate answer. that you do not want to say because I don't want spoilers. Unless you can just type in chat that I'm talking spoilers, I can just drop my headphones and then you write in the chat that spoilers go. Yeah, that would be very good, actually. Yeah, I'll okay. I'll, I'll give you a, I'll basically give you like a, a yes in chat when uh you in back on. Chat, yeah. Okay, I'm dropping yeah. my headphones. All right, so I phone up Mina and uh, Akira. I'm guessing the, I'm, that's what their names are now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind that you gave them those names. Yeah, I'm going to phone up Mina and Akira. Don't know the surname. You can do that shit. Yeah. But I'm going to phone them up and I'll be like, and I'm basically just going to say, because he, he'd have been in contact with them, but like just like text, basically. Because mm-hmm. he doesn't leave anyone just after sex. <laughs> <laughs> so he would basically say that, he has someone he wants you to. He wants them to meet, and it's one. And it and it, and he would say like, it's one of the greatest men he knows right now. All right. And he'd, like, he'd give them where he is, um, when. So probably ten past twelve if he's coming at like for twelve, basically. Mm-hmm. He'd tell them to be a cafeteria for twelve and for ten past twelve, and just to come find me. Wear something right. nice as well. We've got names. We've got names for them. Mina and Akira Kazue. Yep, that's Cray. That's Cray. Cray. That's Crepe. <laughs> I mixed Cray and Great. It didn't go too well. Crate. It's Crate. Yeah. It's the Crate. Wa- yeah, he wants to get these. He basically wants to, like, like he did with Lazarus and Lucy, give them, like, the whole sub story bullshit, but, like, well, not a sub story, but, like, hey! <laughs> well, Come. he did. He did give her a sub story about the fucking a sub story. But the little girl that you saved, and, the, and all because of all because of your commitment to work, you're a virgin. And except, or was. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and he, she said he, she was going to give him another, another. I know, but you know, I fucking gave her the phone to actually phone you. <laughs> but um, he would he would do this, and he would basically do his best to. Make Salazar seem like, you know, an amazing I mean, individual. Not just, not just that, not just uh, not amazing because that's Francis. Adequate. No, no, no. no. Like a, a good decent. man, just a decent man, and a good man. Like he would, he wants, he wants them. He wants it. He wants to set up as much as he can so that he, Salazar doesn't fuck it up. <laughs> Basically, is what he's trying to do. He wants to not. Have Salazar uh, fuck this up because they're quite hot. I think like one was like a seven, one was like an eight. Yeah, <laughs> and he's a five, so it's not pushing it either. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to roll me a persuade roll. Do I get my plus two <laughs> like I did with Lucy? Yeah, you're cool. wingmanning this. <laughs> cool, please, please, nothing less than like a six or a seven. Double ones. Yes. Yes. All right. It's, yes. I think it's clear now for uh, for Salazar. Um, Jake, was you there 
when I was mm. doing my session or not? I can't remember. Yes, because um, I ha- I f- f- fucked with your dick. Yeah. No, I was, I was just wondering because of the fucking... It was it was amazing the the fucking rolls I pulled off. Okay, yeah, I, I have had uh, headphones back on. I will so. back. I know. All right. I know. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah, I was be- like, how the be- fuck? Before I left, like security station, like if there is something there, then I do not close it because. No, no, the- no, 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 everything's good. We're all good. I've yeah. done what I needed to do with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying to the team <laughs> that in case, like, if I leave security station and there is nobody else there, I just yeah, there's, lock it down. Like, like people are there. Like people are still working. Okay, so yeah. Like people are talking about the boss's party. That like looking for, <laughs> yeah. looking forward That's to it. That's a good point. I'm the boss now. It's like I'm the boss. Like a boss. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got one promotion because previous boss died. <laughs> I might get second one because this one will die. Yeah, just kidding. Yeah, Francis isn't gonna die anytime soon. Yeah, I I guess so. Unless he kills himself. <laughs> yeah, if Fra- if Francis kills himself, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> so will I, because <laughs> I I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it. Okay, so yeah, I just take package and uh, leave and go to the cafeteria. So. Mm. <clears throat> When you get there, Francis is talking to two. One second. Hmm. Jake, yo, I'm just trying to think. What what would a good name be for the the team that Laz wants to put together to go off world and such? What team? The the whole thing he was the whole division that he was going to do in in science team. Oh right, you know the thing we talked about. Sorry about that. I'll message you in Skype. All right. All right. So Salazar, when you get there, Francis is talking to two very attractive ladies. They look like twins. I just like, 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 with a smirk, just shake my head. Typical Francis. <laughs> he doesn't know. In character. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and just like I give a glimpse to the, like, uh, paper that he will read that happy birthday, Casanova. <laughs> and I believe, yeah, that, <laughs> that makes so much sense. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I, like, come closer. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Mina, Akira, two seconds. And like, he he takes you aside and like pulls you away a little bit from them. Salazar, this is good to see you outside of work. I'm glad you've managed to stop by. Uh, well, it would be kind of rude to miss the uh, birthday of your boss and friend. All right, at least I quit. Like a- well, it's been almost a week now. You should still call me Francis. <laughs> yeah, well, Francis. Uh, I come by to give you this. And I just give you kind of big package, to be honest. It's, it's actually a little bigger than your uh, plasma projector. Yeah, the size of the package, yeah. Which is quite, probably quite big. <laughs> it does just shoot molten metal, basically. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and I say, you got me a gift. Happy birthday, Francis. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Salazar, you shouldn't have. And he like, he gives you like a one-armed hug while he carries the package. <laughs> like, ah, uh, uh. So he, he takes it over to a table to rest it on, like giving the ladies like a two seconds um, signal. Mm-hmm. They kind of nod. And um, you're like, yeah, he unwraps it then. All right. I want to right. hear that description. <laughs> All right. All right. So All as right. as this thing opens, yo, the first thing you're struck with is a golden glow. Uh, fucking hell. <laughs> no, it is not oh. gold. It is a, a silver glow. Ah, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Everything just points to science team. <laughs> no, this one doesn't point to science team. I know. Silver like, isn't good. At- Silver isn't part of science team. This is unaffiliated with the station. Like, all right. So, as you open up, like, like. On the side of this gun, as it is clearly a gun, is like a small, like, like, like emblazoned onto the side is the French flag. (laughs) (laughs) With a little flirtily, like, resting underneath it, like, kind of like backdrop behind the flag, like, there's a flirtily. Yeah. And. Like, on it is just like I'm assuming like Sal like like Salazar would have given them uh, Francis's name so they could like write it on the gun. Yeah, Francis Lars yeah. Serlebo. La- yeah, so Francis written in very fine calligraphy, Francis <laughs> Lacerlebois. Yeah, my almost full That's name. Mary. <laughs> No, Marie no. is not there. Marie is not there. I don't know there. if he, he has, has Marie, that, so... He, ha- he has that stricken from almost every single record imaginable. Not every single record. Apart from his personal ones, and the ones apparently in the fucking Louvre. I wonder, wonder if him and uh, Laz and Lucy I guess are going we've... to look through Lou. Jim? Yeah, sorry. Just got refreshed. Yeah. Sorry. I'm saying um, basically like... Yeah, this two is, and yeah, yeah I, I heard that. I heard that. I okay. just, like, you, you recognize it as a distortion cannon. Uh, it's not just you. Right, but he's your robot voice. Mm-hmm. He, would, he, would, he would, like, turn to Salazar and say, like, this is quite an weapon. Why did you get such a thing? Uh, that's not... First off, you notice a few more things about it. Like, you notice the, oh, the barrel, like, the projection barrel for the cannon is a tad hmm. bit longer all right. In, like you, you would assume this would nearly double the weapon's range. Oh god, okay. <laughs> and this stuff looks like 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 it's like better than superb craftsmanship. Yes, yeah. please please host the call, Shuruka. I mean, now it's better. Like really really advanced gun. Yeah. But like there's something off about it, like, like, like. It doesn't just look like it did in the photos, basically. No, there no, seems no. To be this, more this about thing, it. Like, as you're looking at it, like this thing seems to like, like this thing's power cells need to be finely tuned. Like, you can't just use any sort of power cell. You literally have to use the ones that came in the package. Otherwise, <laughs> it's not going to fire. Salazar, what did you get me? Like, he says that with a smile on his face. Like, it's like a bemused question, not, not like an accusatory one. As you can see, a gun. A very fine gun. What does it do? Well, do you want me to read what the book flavor text it has? No, I, I know that I know what distortion cannon does. Yeah, it's a, it's basically like a handheld spike drive weapon. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much a handheld spike yeah. drive. <laughs> well, also, this is whole, a distortion whole, cannon. Um, it's the solid cover one as well, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is also covered in silver. <laughs> it's also coated in silver and French flag for the least name. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What did you say, Salazar? Sorry. 
I say, this is a... Uh, pardon, I shouldn't say gun. This is a distortion cannon. <laughs> he laughs. <laughs> he, he, he like looks at you and says, Christ, I just got na I just got done naming all my other guns. <laughs> Seems like I'm gonna have to give this one a name now as well. I'm running out of I'm, <laughs> I'm running out of ancient places in France. <laughs> and he would like he'd turn to you and like he'd put the gun down on the table, like back in its box. And like he'd give you a hug. And then in Russian he would say like he would just say, um, I greatly appreciate this. I do not know what this could have cost you. This is a really, this is the best present I've received so far today. Truly. This is incredible. I, of course, I uh, also hug you back and say in Russian, ah, it, it's not a problem after all. We have only birthday once a year. And really, I just know you like the guns, and I just decided to go with the simplest way possible to get you a really nice gun. There is free, to there is free maybe five things in this universe that I like. You have hit the nail on the head of one of them. Now, I have something for you too, Salazar. I just raise an eyebrow. Well, that's nice, but I don't believe I don't have my birthday yet. No, 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 no. This is not really a physical gift. Well, I guess you could call it that. Um, he like puts his arm around you, like your shoulder, to like lead you to lead you play to somewhere. Mm -hmm. If he starts to walk, do you like just go with him? Yeah. Yeah, I I go with you. He leads you over to the two girls. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, this is the this is the gentleman that I was talking about. I just raise, slightly raise an eyebrow as I like s still a glance at Francis and I like look at the ladies and I not uh, not to them like, or like good. Nina Akira, is this the Salazar wick? Like in unison, they introduce themselves. <laughs> he like uh, he like taps you, on, he, ta he like pats you on the chest and like says to them. Don't worry if he stammers a little bit at first. He can be quite shy. I assume... I assume you ladies can be nice enough to show him the ways. They just kind of get a big smile on their faces. Now, please, Salazar, I'm going to put my gun somewhere safe now. My gift. Please, enjoy the party. While you put your gun somewhere safe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, enjoy the party. I try um, not to get like banana smile on my face. I just try to like, I just like look at look at Francis. Uh, you know my friend, and I speak that in Russian. You know my friend. I believe I. <laughs> he like he like lifts up his like uh, vest top to show the scar, and he's like, "Tell them about the time you saved me. From <laughs> you saved me, and I got this instead." <laughs> and then he just like laughs and walks off. Was Salazar even there? No. He just <laughs> using it. <laughs> Dude, this guy's a really good wingman story. I mean, yeah, war have stories to... of some sort. The tale like of, he... like, freaking fighting with psionic god. <laughs> he gives, like, an exquisite bow and then just walks off. And then... Francis leaves the scene. <laughs> so I'm assuming Salazar won't say no in the end. Uh, basically, after he leaves, he just like gives Cortez's bow. Dear ladies, I shall be in your care. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, you will. So I think you know what kind of role you owe me, Salazar. Oh boy. There are seven and an eight, by the way, and they're twins. Mm hmm. Mm, uh, you mean persuade? No, I'm. No. <laughs> no. Ah, physical! Yeah. Don't worry. I, I just wasn't... The, the uh, target number is uh, two greater because there are two of them. Oh my <laughs> god. 
So instead of what are you? You're at ten now, aren't you? You're gonna hit twelve. Yeah. Oh boy. Here it comes. And then he, and then he not twenties. Uh, I, I'm afraid no. Oh. Uh, at least you one. didn't not one. He's Fuck with you. two. He's with two people. It's not entirely unexpected. <laughs> It's hard. It's hard to keep up with two people. Yeah. <laughs> really, the majority of the saves on this campaign I have tasked to this day. Like majority of them I failed. I succeeded on some, but most were failures. Well, Salazar, I believe that's a perfect way to end it with you. Just Salazar. With twins. And then we'll kind of see him after a post credit scene with a uh, Mr. Owl Mask. And like, we see him go up to someone like. Who, like, like he, the man looks like a younger person. Maybe about early 20s. And, like, the owl, it, like, we can't really see his mouth, move, mouth moving, but we know it's him speaking. And he just says, we have Salazar on our side. He's going to be a very, very useful ally for us against Daniel. And then we see, like, the guy in, like, the eagle mask, the younger-looking fellow, who just says, Yes. Let's hope that he doesn't betray us like someone else has, like the others have in the past. Dun dun dun! Well, for now I have I don't know what's their agenda apart from fighting, stopping uh, Cooper, Daniel Cooper, and I'm cool with that. So yeah, you figured out his name now. I mean, out of character. Out of character. Out of character. Yeah, you know his I name. Know. One Daniel Cooper. Well, it doesn't sound like Destroyer of Worlds, but, well, it, it's nice. It's like that, it reminds me of Daniel Cross from Assassin's Creed. Uh, Chris, I put another goal on my sheet. Alright. And I need Take to think, figure out what I want, what the third goal would I want. I mean, maybe figure out more about, uh, owls, associ owls, like... Like group, <laughs> maybe become a official part of Owl's group. Now, for now, I think I will put something like. Very if you were to do that, you would immediately retire Salazar. Yeah, I know. Wait, what was his goal to retire him? No, 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 no. no, no. no. It's I... like if he would have put the goal join Owl's group. All oh, right. Did that do? It would have something... been an. Yeah, that will be something like uh, Sicarian would it with his goal. Killing okay. Titan. Yeah. No, so for now I think the short term goal would be, and you can check it in a second as I will put it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that works. I think it's like a short term situation. Alright. Because I'll I have that leadership skill and tactics, so. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. So, just a question: like, do you like one-on-one -on -one sessions? Do you give people XP for that, or yeah, no? you're you're getting experience, huh. you're gaining uh, fifteen hundred experience. Okay. <laughs> he 
yeah, you have to think of a name for your for your distortion cannon that I here I'm going to I know, whisper man. you like hard. what what oh. ability stats it gets. Okay. Yeah, okay. because I paid for that beauty free case, so I expect it has manical, <laughs> mechanical bonuses. Okay. Okay, and I'm like 4k from level up, oh, level 5. Um... But yeah, that one-on-one -on -one was quite enjoyable. Even though Salazar do not fully rose to the task of... <laughs> Yeah, but sexing up, twins. sexing up the twins. <laughs> even even so, he can now say he was he's been in a threesome. Yeah, man. Yeah, Sal. One, one of the PCs done that. <laughs> yeah. yeah so There's only been one of the yeah, PCs. Because two people talked at the same time, and I didn't understand. We, 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 we said the same thing, which was there's only one of the PC that's done that. You're the second one now. Which is you? Yeah, me. <laughs> how do you, you think I know them? Oh, that is correct. Yeah, so Jake, uh, Francis just got a really OP weapon. Yeah, hello. Well, I'm cool with that. Well, as I said, basically half of my paycheck that came in went yeah. to that weapon. <laughs> so just oh, just wanna confirm to be sure that when the next paycheck comes, I have that amount of money as you like whispered to me each day. Or I can just say because One I'm second. not. I'm not. I know others have more, so I. I really. I've got my frame I mean, I know you whispered at the first that right now with my current skill and position, I get a eight hundred per day. Yep. Okay. Well, you shouldn't have said it out loud, but. Yeah, that's how much you make in two weeks. Let's see if I shall survive and live to the next page. Hopefully Mr. Owl will be there if something goes... Yeah. I'm hoping I'm, I'm, hoping I'm a section I, just, where I don't have Francis in it. Just, I don't want to, uh, yeah. like, make the impression I'm not the type of player that will do stupid shit because I feel I have, like, plot armor. I am not that type of person. Wait, what was that, Jake? I, I hope there's a session that's up, uh, in the next couple of weeks. Like game time. That isn't Francis. <laughs> uh, so I'm guessing like you will do a few more one-on-one -on -one sessions and then we will return to like standard. Uh, uh... Yeah. So there's a, do you there's wanna... at the very least two more needed to do. Mm. The very least. Uh huh. Like, yeah, that is. Um, well, I definitely need to do a one on one with LS. I don't think he's mm. available for the next like two weeks, though. He was yeah. saying, like, oh, yeah? for, one, for a session, yeah, he was saying that he for like, like week and a half or so, he's not really. I available. do need to get one for Connor. Yep. Um, who else do I need Adrian. to get one for? Yeah. I say, I, as that, the two I was referring to was me and Adrian. I forgot about Connor. Yeah. Connor needs one. Yeah. Because uh, the, the 14th will be the day he's finished his project. Yeah, he'll yeah, get He job. finishes it in two weeks. In him two months. No. Um, I do need one for Connor. I do need one for Francis. One for Hans. Um, famous places in France. <laughs> so you're gonna send the gun to another famous place in France? Yeah, well, I have Arc, Arc de Plasma Projector, Mon Bon Ami Le Fermo Pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Which is my good friend, the Fermo Pistol, oh, in dear. French. Uh, <laughs> Disneyland Distortion Cannon. <laughs> Disneyland Cannon. Uh, pull your mic down to your mouth, Chris. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Dad. Dude, I'm sorry. We we can carry on talking as if you're like a million miles away, if you like. But 
Spa ma yeah. Space Master, now from actual sp <laughs> yeah. Space Master, now in space. Space. Oh my god, well, I dread the day. I want to see if Adrian or the other Jake are around. I dread the day when uh, we get uh, Wheatley or GLaDOS core. <laughs> Delta is essentially a GLaDOS score. Mm. Except better. Yeah. And actually, like, not smarter. obsessed with testing. I mean, who? The Iron She's lady? obsessed with having fun with her, like, uh, the expense of other people, though. Ah, her. Yeah, Del AI of Delta. Iron Lady. That's my. Yeah. Iron Lady. That's my code name for her. Just. And it... Oh, French days. No, um, Lazarus is just Delta. Now it is. Mm hmm. Oh, it makes sense, really, I guess. But then again, mm, if he goes to the other station, what do they call the other AI there? I mean, they are labeled A, B, C, D, and E because there are plans for five. Although Alpha probably wouldn't be technically correct for the AI in that station, right? No. See, that's the other thing you can't call them Alpha or Beta because that's kind of offensive. No, you can call them beta, but you couldn't. Alpha, alpha would the, the alpha created. would be because if you remember, like the description of um, the Mademoiselle is that she is an AI created by AIs. Yeah, yeah. So the like, alpha, would, alpha be would be mom. Mother. Yeah, mama. which isn't one of the states. Because I think yeah. Alpha is the one that was around Earth, wasn't it? Yeah, nearby. Yeah, and then that was that was the sister she called her. So yeah. The mom is something else. Like, or maybe not. Could be a human that's just dead now. Maybe no. No, oh, okay then. Never mind then. <laughs> it's de it's definitely another AI, and it's definitely hey, still around. I, I was making theories. I'd have to shoot them down, you prick. <laughs> just no, uh, <laughs> no chance. Oh, oh yeah. As, as you were saying earlier, Matt. Yes, there oh. is nobody with plot armor. Me and Tim Cook were talking about um, just random shit that had happened and that yeah, will right. happen, stuff like that. And I I had a session yesterday, and I, like I said, I play a Biosionic. And I came up with possibly the greatest threat of all time. That, I've, that, that is one of my favorite lines I've ever said. It's, if you don't tell me what I need to know, I'm going to kill you. Then I'm going to bring you back to life and kill you again and again and again. Then I'm going to take every inch of you, piece by slow piece, until all that is left of you is a torso and a head. And when you beg me to finish you off of a mouth that has no tongue, that's when I'll let you live.